Hey everyone, welcome back. First of all, thank you very much for watching our videos and for your comments. You know we make diagnostic videos and using the scan tool is an important part of our videos as well. I have tried to use any different type of scanners that I have in the workshop, but sometimes I get some comments for other scanners as well, if they are good or bad, if they do this, if they do that. And some of you asked me to check the other scanners as well. That's why today in this video, we're going to have a look at this scanner, which is UDIC X50. We're going to connect this device on this car to see how it really supports different systems on this car. This scanner is supposed to cover all the systems and all the functions. So we're going to go ahead to see how it really performs so first of all before starting the video if you guys haven't subscribed the channel yet please don't forget to subscribe and if you're interested we have many online courses that you can find the links for those ones in the video description so first of all when you get the product the scan tool comes in this box as you see this is a scanner it comes with a bluetooth vci and a charger so back in here on the scanner itself this is the main page we have different functions like the update maintenance. We're going to go directly for diagnostic. This is the VCI of this scanner. I'm going to plug this one in. Then we go for diagnostic to see how this one really works. All right. So this is the VCI. Very really cool design. So let's go for the diagnostic. We can go for here for the VIN. Auto scan. See if a scan tool can read the VIN number for us, which is really important of course car is kia all right very quick so it's read the vin number and all the vehicle details very quickly this is very good because for diy users sometimes selecting the car on the scanner is a little challenging so so far it was very fast honestly because i've done this one on many other scanner and diagnose hot functions i go for the diagnose for now auto scan of course so it's reading the file codes from all systems. This is first of all what we need. If you are trying to diagnose all the systems on the car, it's really important to be able to read all the systems. So as I said, this scan tool is supposed to read and support all the systems. So, so far is reading all the systems. Many different file codes on this car. We just need to wait for this one to reach 200%. So this is the first sign that this scanner is supporting apparently all the systems on this car. Okay, so we got these fault codes. We can go one by one to connect to the systems or we can quickly erase the fault codes. Of course, the scan tool is gonna erase those fault codes which are not present. So if there is a fault code which is present, you have to fix the card, then you can erase the code. But the scan tool is trying to erase all the codes very quickly and it's going to give you the report. For the engine fault codes are gone, but for the airbag, we still have the fault because there are some present fault codes on this car. All right, let's go for the engine. You can connect to the engine from here or you can go back to the control units from here. And you have all the systems of this car listed in here. I'm going to go for the engine right now. Connection is very fast so far. This is what I like. So reading the code, erasing the code, live data, active test, issue information and a special function. So these are exactly what we need. All the things. I'm not going to go for reading the codes and erasing. Let's go for the live data. You can select whatever you want or complete list. I went for complete list. Okay, so these are basically all the live data I have in here for this car. So if I go, for example, for something like the throttle body. So you see the throttle body voltage. This is the throttle body position sensor one and sensor two. So right now, if I press the pedal, as you see, the voltage is increasing and throttle body is widely open right now. So the response from the scanner is quite good. So you can go for the graph mode as well you have the graph mode here that you can actually select the options from here you can select this ones one by one as well from the very first page for example this time if i go for accelerator to pedal position sensor we have the graph mode in here so if i press the pedal so you see the 
graph on the on the scanner let's go back to here active test this is where we can activate different components on this engine so we can activate the fuel pump we can activate the cooling fan at low speed or high speed i'm going to activate it at low speed so let's see how it goes So I can hear that cooling fan is running right now. Let's go for the canister purge control valve and try it on the car. So this is the canister purge control valve. And right now, ignition switch must be on, engine off. So I need to press start to activate this valve. So I'm really hoping that you can hear the ticking sound. So it's activating the valve with no issue. If we try another one, I'm gonna try this one. Electronic throttle control actuator, which is just right there. Have a look at the actuator. This is the one, engine must be off, of course. If I press the start, I should have the throttle body opened. So have a look at the throttle body. I press the start. So throttle body open and stop closed so the actuation tests on the engine are performing properly we're gonna go back to try special functions of course all the special functions are listed here resetting adaptive values for engine control module reading the wind number idle adjustment and isg test for this car so let's go back quickly i'm gonna try another system as well like the body control module So I have all the options, live data. So you have all the options in here for the headlamp switch. Look at this one. If I turn on the headlamp, you see it's on right now. This is actually how we use the live data to diagnose different components. And of course the switches, left turn hazard, I can check the indicators here as well. Left and the next one to the right, the one right here is working right now. This is good so far as well. And I'm gonna try actuation test here on BCM. Let's go for checking the headlamp high beam. So we're gonna try to activate the headlamp high beam with the scanner. If I press the start, so as you see, headlamp, high beam is on, stop, all good. And I will try the last thing, which is a special function. And I will do it on this one. Transmitter code saving for registering the transmitter. See if this one actually works. Live data, code saving. This is actually for registering a new transmitter on the car if you have replaced the transmitter. Ignition switch must be off. I need to remove this one from the key cylinder. Press OK. Wait for two seconds. And then press the lock button on the transmitter for over one second. So I need to press OK. And after two seconds, I need to press this one for one second. So let's go. I'm going to press OK. One, two. Now. So did you hear it? The first transmitter is registered. If you want to go for the second one, you press OK and do the same thing. Otherwise, you press cancel and that's it. This transmitter is programmed. And the last one that I promised you was immobilizer. I'm not going to perform the key teaching right now, but I will try to see if it does have it in the special function. Live data should show us how many keys are registered for this car two keys and the situation is learned this is exactly what we need for diagnosing the immobilizer system and if we go back on the special function so this is what i need all right as you see it's supporting this one as well so the only thing i need right now if i want to program a new key on this car i need a six digit pin code and key must be inside the 
key cylinder ignition switch must be on and i need to press ok and that's it a scan tool is going to perform everything for us if you want to learn more about the immobilizer system you can find the full video on our channel all right guys this was a quick review from this scanner honestly i was happy about the speed of this scanner it was responding very fast it covered all the systems i tried the live data actuation test and special functions it was good on all that as well but this is actually one review on one car i'm gonna try to use this scanner on more diagnostic videos to see how it works on other cars and other systems too but so far i'm happy about that so as I said, this is a UDIAG X50. You can find the link for this product in the video description. If you want us to try any other scanner or product, please don't forget to comment down below. And please don't forget to subscribe the channel for get the notification when we upload new videos. Thank you very much, guys, for watching.